Well, the top four is on the line in this particular matchup. You definitely do not want to miss out on this one as we welcome you to the ISL powered by Coca-Cola. Before we start this event, a huge shout out to our associate sponsor, Hero, our esports partners, Nordwin Gaming, our platform partners, PlayStation, and our digital collectibles partners, Terra Virtua, for making this event happen. And joining along with me is, as usual, Azim. And, uh, well, 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 FC Goa going up against Jamshedpur FC. Someone's uh, dreams of uh, heading into the top four might just be put on a haul today. Yeah, lots at stake for both teams. This is, of course, the end of the league stages where the battle for the top four places is ongoing. Of course, we will have two 1v1s and one co-op as always. And the top four teams will battle it out in the finals from the 19th to 21st of March. Also, the top two team members will be battling to represent India at FGS 2022. Oh yeah, and uh, you know, that that's the golden ticket that we've been talking about, right? Only one of uh, the two, the winners, will be going ahead uh, with a heavy pocket, right? Uh, 78 lakhs on the line, out of which the first position gets 15 lakh rupees, so on, uh, reduces down. And for the MVP, we do have 4 lakhs plus personalized NFT of the player by our digital collectible partners, that's uh, Terra Virtua out there. But uh, more than that, you know, once we take a look at the leaderboard, we'll have a clear picture of what we're really talking about, right? Sixth and seventh position team, Jamshedpur FC, having 17 games played, have managed to garner 23 points. But FC Goa have managed to do the same with just 14. But uh, likewise, they haven't have had a really eventful run, right? Uh, not uh, the kind of a result that they were anticipating. Uh, against uh, Chennai in FC yesterday, but it's still fine. It's something that they can live with. They still have a few more games to go. If FC Goa uh, managed to win this one, uh, their chances of making it to the top four become really strong. But uh, if they, uh, if uh, Jamshedpur FC loses this one, I think their run for the top four might potentially be coming to an end. Yeah, I think if Jamshedpur FC lose this one, it's pretty much down to uh, if uh, Bengaluru FC or North East United FC wins uh, any of their matches, then that's Jamshedpur FC's uh, well uh, top four chances out of the window. But I'm excited to see what our matchups are going to be because, of course, this was I think one of the first matches that we did see in the EISL, and we saw Afnan absolutely demolished by Akash Ash, and we are going to see round two of that, and I'm very very excited. It was six nil that game. I remember distinctly. Afnan's first game in a LAN environment, I, did, I ended up speaking to him after the game as well. But FC Goa, despite that, did manage winning the game and there he is. The man uh, with the new haircut, is it going to be uh, the same luck as yesterday? The same uh, fortunes of Ankit Gupta? Or is it going to be um, a comeback trail for FC Goa? Because lots of games in hand, but all of them really seem like must-win matches at this point. Oh yeah, but uh, you know, before we head in, you did talk about the previous matchup. Let's take a look at... Uh, uh, stats that was there. It's 6-1 for Afnan, but uh, you know that one doesn't really matter, right? It was still a six uh, goals a thromping win for Akash Ash, and uh, V Sharma had been there uh, to do the cleanup job. And after that, Afnan really did a nice recovery, you know, making sure that every single chance that uh, you know um, was being given by V Sharma to him, he was there to convert that into a goal. And uh, now. You know, Jamshedpur FC, finally the players are really smiling, but uh, they know at the back of their minds, the back of their heads, that this match is so crucial for them. But at the same time, this match is equally or uh, even more important for FC Goa because uh, at a certain point, uh, there were like two, three games uh, cushioned for them, which has uh, sort of reduced down to just two or maybe one uh, for a few of those players. But uh, there you have it, the first matchup. Uh, we do have Arvin uh, Maas going up against uh, V Sharma. So they have pretty much uh, changed the order. Just uh, no change in uh, the previous lineups. They're still going up against each other. Afnan has been looking really confident. And uh, Kash has been a little bit under the weather, right? Uh, hasn't fully recovered yeah. yet to his uh, original form, which uh, he had during that EISL. But for Arvin, it's going to be so important against uh, V Sharma to pull off a win. Yeah, absolutely. This is the last chance really for Jamshedpur FC. They've had a couple of bad results along the way where it could have been much more comfortable passage into that top four, but they have seen the likes of Bengaluru FC and North East United FC now uh, sort of jump the queue ahead of them for that top four spot. So it is all about getting that win today and then of course hoping that uh, other results uh, go their way. It's interesting to, uh, to see what their last two matches would be and I uh, will just have a look at uh, my sheet on the side to see 
uh, who they'll be playing in those last two matches because really uh, they're going to be absolutely vital, vital showdowns, and uh, it's going to be very exciting right till uh, I'm sure the last uh, the last match day of the league stage. But we have kicked off right now. We do see uh, FC Goa in their familiar white away jersey and uh, Jamshedpur FC, of course, in the home very nicely uh, designed uh, red jersey and V Sharma taking the attack forward straight away. He'll want to get off to a quick start. He did uh, get off to a good start in the last game, but then it all sort of uh, went uh, horribly downhill. Oh yeah, I, I mean it indeed. Uh, and for V Sharma, that is where we really asked him. You know what's wrong or what went wrong, and uh, he, he was clearly um, not satisfied with the kind of performance that uh, he'd had. But uh, today he's uh, looking to change it all. As finally, as we are in the game, Jamshedpur FC. Uh, we've seen Avin Mas to be one of those players who really loves to defend and uh, plays a lot on those counter attacks. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of uh, his aggressive outings uh, out right now. Usually, Akash is the one who uh, goes for those uh, big uh, goal scoring games. But now, V Sharma determined as ever and uh, clearly needs to score the opener over here, passing it on towards Ronaldo Nazario. A little bit uh, heavy on the foot over there, and uh, the possession has been stolen away. Yeah, and now Jamshedpur FC. Arvind Mas not been the most prolific goal scorer in this tournament, just averaging uh, just under two goals per match. So, uh, goal scoring generally has been the problem for him. Largely a fairly good defensive player. Doesn't concede too many, although he did concede three to V Sharma the last time they played. That was also a pretty pulsating affair. It was a 3 2, and I think V Sharma had to make a lot of tactical changes to. Uh, come back into that game. I think it, there was a point where Arvind was leading that uh, that match 2-1 and then uh, Vansha just uh, made a tactical switch, got his fullbacks forward in his uh, preferred 4-1-2-1-2 formation, which uh, doesn't seem to be his preferred formation anymore. He's gone for the more uh, meta 4-4-2 or uh, shall we say 4-2-4 kind of formation almost and uh, taking a few risks at the back over there but no harm done. And uh, yeah, I think now so long into the tournament we've been, I think all the players have really, uh, they have an idea of how each player is going to approach the game and you really now have to keep your opponents guessing, keep uh, doing things that they don't quite expect and that's really whoever can adapt the, the most and change their, make those subtle changes to their play style uh, the most will be the people who can get success uh, in these late stages of the tournament as uh, Vishalma taking his time, building up very, very patiently, knocking on the door. But can he break it down? That's the question. Not for the moment. Yeah, not for the moment. But I think uh, V Sharma has been really persistent right? in terms of uh, how he's been building those plays up. He's been going in. In the final third, he's been having those little issues in closing things down. But I'm pretty sure by the end of this game, he should be getting back to his old pristine form that uh, he had. Uh, uh, he needs to realize that he's one of the most dependable guys. A uh, guy compared with Imad in terms of uh, being really consistent. Because that had been the go to tell uh, to tell story with uh, you know Visharma when initially the EISL commenced, right? Afran used to on most occasions give up on those games and it was Visharma with the cleanup job and he never disappointed, right? He pushed the game towards a co-op game and that's where they found the win. Up until uh, lately where uh, Afnan has uh, sort of taken over the driver's seat, he's been looking really confident, he's been loving the LAN environment, things have changed. But Visharma was still uh, pretty consistent then. But uh, it has been a roller coaster of a journey for him, especially V Sharma in the ISL. And uh, he had uh, been showing some promising signs, but now this could all change with uh, Ronaldo passing it on towards Kante. De Bruyne back towards Ronaldo. And uh, he takes his time. He takes his sweet little time to build things up. And once he gets the opportunity, he definitely takes a shot. But uh, he needs to understand that he cannot overthink that. And yeah. uh, in that little moment, we really could fail. That uh, is what exactly happened as uh, the attack was foiled. Now susceptible to a counter attack. Yeah, I just wonder if maybe it's the it's the sense of the pressure now in the late stages of the tournament that uh, Panchaj is not quite uh, going for those instinctive finishes. He's waiting and waiting and hoping for that perfect shot. But sometimes just need to take that shot. We've seen it with so many occasions. We saw it in the last game as well with Adi Zima taking those shots. You know, buying a ticket, winning the lottery with a couple of those goals. And uh, sometimes you need to do that. I think that's one aspect we haven't seen from V Sharma at all. Uh, he's not a guy who likes to cross the ball. He's not a guy who likes to take those long shots. He's, a, could say, a bit of a purist in the way he approaches the game. And uh, had the opportunity there to slide in Eusebio, might still be able to. As uh, 
I think uh, Mas is is reading him quite well uh, for this uh, for these opening 37 minutes. He's uh, managed to shut down everything that uh, Visharma has thrown his way, and uh, as soon as he gets into this position, it's all very compact. And I think a little bit more decisiveness, a little bit more speed in uh, that final uh, penalty box is what's lacking from Visharma right now. Oh yeah, and even for you know Arvind Mas at this particular point has been. More about uh, being on those defensive uh, sides, right? Uh, he's been uh, a little bit on the defensive run. He's been saving uh, uh, himself from uh, Visharma's attacks, and then on the counter attack, he tries to build up. But I think uh, Visharma has da- had a decent uh, job so far. But uh, for now, Eusebio passing towards De Bruyne. We've seen some really ridiculous goals coming in from De Bruyne, even outside the box on two different multiple occasions. But Eusebio. Uh, all of it could change and a uh, lot of drama but thankfully uh, no errors being caused and uh, there you have the first uh, half whistle being uh, blown and uh, well nothing really separating these two players yeah i think saved by the whistle a little bit over there uh, arvin mas because there was a massive counter attack opportunity on for uh, v sharma on that end and uh, well he's going to need to just uh, be a little bit more uh, decisive in that uh, penalty box. I think that's the only thing that's been lacking. I think Visharma otherwise has played a very, very good game so far. And Arvind Mas as well. I think defensively rock solid. He's always forcing uh, Vanchaj to make that decision. Always forcing him to uh, just have that little bit of doubt. Always has the defender position just right so that he thinks twice about taking the shot. Uh, so he's doing his job and he knows it's a pressure game. It's a huge, huge game. And uh, he needs to get that uh, result to keep Jamshedpur FC in the in the conversation for that top four. Yeah, I think uh, with just one point, uh, this uh, this this is somewhere these teams cannot accept that decision, right? They know that uh, you know those three points only will ensure their survival. And more than ever for Jamshedpur FC, it's literally a sword hanging over their heads, right? Uh, no other way w- which uh, we can perfectly describe it, right? For the other teams like. Um, ATK MB, Hyderabad FC, Odisha FC, we know it's pretty much over, even for Kerala Blasters FC. But apart from yeah. that, all the other teams still have a dying chance, still have a, uh, you know, a contention inside uh, making it to the top four. And they've got to hope that they win their games, their opponents, uh, their competitors, draw out all, all, on all their games. That's the only way that uh, they can uh, make it happen. But for now, again, uh, Arvind Mas looking to be on the attacking front. And finally, finally with Ronaldo Nazario, he manages uh, to score. No, it's an offside. Oh, I thought it was yeah. slightly in. Yeah, I think the flag went up pretty early over there. So, uh, well, uh, the game still allowed Arvind that little bit of hope. It allowed him the, the joy of just smashing it into the net. Always a good moment in that sense to just get your finishing radar on. Even if it is offside, it gives you that confidence to be like, okay, I got into this position and managed to find the back of the net. Now coming forward with uh, Messi is uh, V Sharma. Lots of room over there for De Bruyne. Again, a lot of players would have been tempted to take that shot, but uh, V Sharma, of course, that's not how he approaches the game. He always wants to get that short fire opportunity in the box. He might get the ball slid into Eusebio over there and oh God, he gets that horribly, horribly wrong. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, now this is the moment where uh, V Sharma, well, uh, he has been persistent, right? Hasn't uh, been that much of a clinical play like uh, he earlier was, and clearly we could see that is uh, pertaining to that haircut nerve that he has had. Ooh. Even taking the chance and the shot with you say, Bio, nothing much coming out of it. Uh, just a corner, instant taken a short pass just before you know Arvin could have uh, everything settled down. Oh, no. Just to give it away towards Ronaldo, and now it's a potential counter attack in uh, a promising one at that. In which Arvind Mas has a really good chance to score. Yeah, and again, I saw like with Messi over there is actually a very good shooting position. I'm surprised he hasn't taken at least one of those with either Messi or De Bruyne. This time the ball chipped in, well dealt with in defense over there. And now again, looking to counter, he gets the ball wide to Messi. It will bring uh, the fullbacks forward as well. Needs to release that ball quickly, but uh, manages to uh, just use that ball roll and turn away from danger. And uh, once he gets into these positions, uh, Arvin has looked very comfortable. I mean, he's perfectly happy for uh, Vanchaj to just have that ball at the edge of the box and just keep passing it around. He's like, all right, you keep that ball there. I have no problem. I can deal with you. Whatever you throw at me from here. And I think that's where he's going to mix it up. He's got to do something that uh, Arvin does not expect him to do. 
uh, because uh, he's a- he's able to read everything right now. You can see, and uh, I do feel that there's more danger for V Sharma of getting hit on the counter attack than there is for Arvind Mas when uh, when he attacks him. Oh yeah, and this oh. could be a very good chance. But I really felt, you know, with Ronaldo, had he kind of held on, uh, you know, just received the first touch and then uh, got into a good uh, position and uh, had he gone for the shot then, could have been a different story. But uh, yeah, ideally, again, with Ronaldo, a player of his stature, you would expect uh, he might uh, uh, just go and convert that one. But uh, not the case, really. And 70 minutes have gone past by and Nazeeb. It has been a no-goals affair so far. Both the players clearly getting frustrated. And so are the fans at this moment. They're searching for that opening. Chances have been created. But in the final third, the players messing up a little bit. And uh, as a result of which, we haven't seen a 1-0 uh, on either of the sides. Yeah, I do think that uh, both players, I think particularly... Actually, Arvind is doing his job on attack. That's his game plan. He needs to just keep hitting him on the break. Of course, the shot that uh, fell to Ronaldo over there fell on the weak foot. He would have been much happier for that to be... Uh, a headed opportunity because they would probably have ended up on uh, on target and uh, forced the keeper at the very least to to make a save. But for uh, for Vancha, he just needs to get a little bit more creative. We do see that pause has been queued, so maybe he's got some other ideas. Maybe he'll throw on uh, like a Neymar or someone else. Gets a little, almost got a bit fortunate with the bounce of the ball over there. And again, Arvind will want to keep this ball for as long as he can. Finds the ball in behind to Mbappe again. Big opportunity here. He has CR7 in the box as well, waiting, but marshaled well. But now the cutback is on. Can he get that shot away? You can see five white bodies in that box over there. De Bruyne with the shot. And uh, well, on the weaker foot, it was never as likely to find that corner. But uh, again, that's that, that's good to see. We want to see players trying to do something different. We want to see more shots at goal. And it's something that maybe uh, FC Goa and Vishalma need to think about as well. Yeah, I think this is where Arvind Maas uh, did take a page out of Akash's book, right? Uh, that long finesse shot, Akash has been doing that lately and uh, it has worked out for him. So, again, Arvind, sort of hoping that in these dire situations, maybe shots like this uh, do work out, right? And uh, it was not the case. And the final seven minutes, we are yet to see a closure from uh, either of them. And both of them are getting in, getting inside the box. But in the final third, the shots are clearly, clearly not going the way they've uh, wanted. And uh, the same, I think uh, Visharma wants to keep the final attack to himself with Mbappe. He's got to get past uh, through at least one defender or has to take a shot from somewhere, has to find a good angle. Does have a really good weak oh. foot, but gives it away at such a crucial moment. This is where Arvind Maas sees this is the last chance potentially. But no, the drama does not end over there. As V. Sharma will retrieve uh, the possession. And uh, in those final few moments, can he score when it is much required? And no. No, again, uh, I think uh, just uh, trying to get that shot away a little bit uh, too much of a snapshot. The one time where he actually needed to work a little bit of space, he decided to go for that uh, shot early on. And uh, this is the absolute last chance now for uh, for Arvind. Can he get something? Nope. It is going to end in a draw, nil-nil. And uh, well, two draws back to back for V Sharma in his individual games, you would have to say. And I think he needs to take a page out of his teammates' book. We did see Afnan score that absolute screamer that uh, that finished shot against Saranj yesterday, and that could have proved to be, and it did prove to be a decisive goal. So uh, there he says, just let it be. It's fine. I'll do the job. I'm going to get my revenge up against Akash. And uh, well, for uh, Jamshedpur FC, they'll be. Happy they're still in it and uh, if uh, Akash can get the win uh, up against Afnan, uh, that puts them in a very strong position going into Game 3. Yeah, I mean the memories of uh, the match uh, hasn't really gone out of Afnan's uh, heads, right? It still haunts him because, uh, uh, you know, these were those early few initial phases where Akash had been so deadly. He was an absolute uh, pure beast and then uh, he sort of uh, transitioned into a cute little teddy. Right, uh, that is what we've seen. We haven't seen that dominating side of Akash Ash, uh, uh, you know, after those few games. But yeah, I think a very, um, you know, very good human being at heart. Uh, surely trying to make sure that his uh, club uh, sees it through has had that little dip in his performance, uh, and most of it uh, going to the crossbar, most of the shots. But Apnan, yeah, like we said, you know, he's been in a stellar run. He's been at the highest of his uh, days. Uh, he tried his hearts out against uh, the big man yesterday and he's been impressive. Uh, Afran, no doubts at that. 
he's been playing out of his minds so we've got to see we've got to see if uh, this time he can at least get that w instead of a d yeah well uh, i mean as neutrals we always want to see everything going into game 3 to be decided so well i think uh, a, a two all i think would be a nice score line for the next game but let's see and uh, afnan i'm sure will want to get the win uh, and i think he's he's quietly confident and uh, there we go we do have arvin in the studio waiting to have a chat with us we'll uh, head on uh, arvin the good uh, draw for you would you say i think very defensively solid performance but uh, did you think you could have won that yeah i could have won the i had couple of chances uh, that uh, ronaldo shot i should have taken a touch and passed it to someone else to score uh, that's the things na yeah i mean now uh, the way things have been shaping by right now i think uh, this is uh, your decider match right this particular match uh, holds the fate of uh, where jamshedpur fc is heading because we still feel you've got that little bit of a chance of making it to the top 4 but for that uh, you've got a win so with akash ash and a lot of pressure coming up uh, what do you think do you have any plans to go up against afnan actually you know we don't have any pressure uh, uh, because we are just playing for uh, like uh, no uh, we are not taking pressure now because uh, uh, what it happens uh, let it happens like that we are playing but uh, uh, he will clutch it 100% he is in a good form uh, he has beat and uh, multiple good players in this tournament well uh, let's uh, we're eagerly waiting to yeah. see the kick off of the next game so we we'll let you get over to the bench over there and uh, all the best for you and akash for the remainder of the thank bench. you thank you guys thank you Yes. Well, I mean, uh, clearly, clearly, not really happy with his performance. Really felt he could do yeah. better. But yeah, we've been talking about Arvind, a really sound player at uh, his FIFA, right? Uh, most of the players coming out from uh, the Chennai circuit have uh, always impressed us. Yeah. You talk about Akash, you talk about uh, you know a players like uh, Naveen. uh per se arvin very sound players they've got the basics absolutely right it's just about having a good day in the office and even if you talk more get into more uh deep inside the circuit you've got players like imad also from uh, bengaluru i believe um he's been also playing a really good game uh, of fifa it's right? one of the most consistent players i must consider and um, yeah i'm really excited to see where it really goes down the line because this match up is so very important for uh, um, uh, jamshedpur fc to win because against uh, fc goa you would not want to take your chances in the co-op match up at least so yeah i think uh, i'm going to start to figure out uh, i'm going to start racking up my brains it's, is it going to be afnan getting uh, his uh, good sweet revenge or is it going to be another dominating run by akash or is it going to be a close game where uh, we have no results at all what do you think yeah well i think it's going to be a close match for sure and uh, afnan will I, I, i mean he won't admit it but at the back of the mind somewhere there's going to be that little thing of you know this guy beat me 6-1 yeah. right at the start but i have come i you know i, I have come uh, such a long way since the tournament started and i'm playing with confidence now and you can see that now he's the guy taking game 2 he's the guy who's taking the pressure matches uh, instead of uh, vi sharma so we've seen a lot of teams evolve that dynamic that way we've seen it with chennai and fc where uh, we all thought saraj was going to be the main man uh, but then navin really started to step in we saw it with sc bengal where ankit gupta was on top and now it's uh, it's uh, shayantan who's, uh, who's doing all the heavy lifting so uh, it's it's important i think he'll take confidence from the fact that he is that main man and uh, I get the feeling he's going to going to play with freedom and uh, really try to go for the win. Yeah, I think uh, that that's the ideal way you've got to go through. But uh, you know, again, uh, Afnan has uh, we've seen in the past is uh, messed up a little bit when under extreme pressure, and this is exactly uh, the matchup that uh, he should be worried about because uh, a lot on the uh, line over here, right? Uh, because ideally, on most of the occasions, we do see. V Sharma coming in uh, playing second, but Afnan hasn't been in the situation before where uh, there hasn't been any outcome out of uh, V Sharma's game, and uh, he needs to go and uh, you know uh, show his hearts out over there. But before we head into the matchup, let's take a look at the highlights. Uh, did not have a lot uh, uh, you know to talk about uh, over there, uh, but this is a previous matchup. This is a previous matchup, ladies and gentlemen, where Akash has absolutely, absolutely thrummed through. Uh, afnan hitting those six goals up until the point we were just uh, waiting for afnan's uh, misery to end yeah and you can see afnan just looked like a young vulnerable little boy sitting over there but you can see i think he's bulked up a bit as well maybe when hitting the gym in the in the hotel he's uh, started to uh, 
really come of age over these last few months but uh, yeah i think this was a pretty devastating uh, baptism by fire shall we say uh, <laughs> to the land environment of the eisl and uh, well a little a few laughs being exchanged across the across the tables over here and i think as the sw- as the sweat is wiped off the hands uh, we will be ready to go there you go afnan now comes with his uh, little uh, full sleeve inner shirt as well comes in the comes in full uniform wearing uh, he's got a nice little haircut going as well of late so he's ready to go one of the youngest players in the tournament not a particularly prolific goal scorer uh, just scored the 20 in his 14 matches uh, but akash of course started off as one of the early contenders for that mvp prize but it sort of started to uh, trail away post that uh, 10th match or so where they hit sort of a brick wall in terms of their form haven't won a lot of matches in the second half of the season and afnan will be hoping to get that early goal and uh, put the pressure on akash who's been uh, i think i don't know if there's a st- stat available for us but i think he's the guy who's hit the the frame of the goal more than anybody oh, yeah. in the isl so far i think uh, him and lokmanyu we uh, if we could have uh... um an award for uh, being the most uh, most unluckiest or whatever having a most uh, shots at goal uh, or the crossbar i think they would have uh, definitely been the two contenders but uh, here we are ladies and gentlemen back with this uh, match up everything on the line for jamshedpur fc they have to seal this through and akash ash has done that in the past against afnan but against an afnan 2.0 this is going to be so very difficult yeah it is going to be a challenge for both players i'm sure afnan will be feeling the heat himself but he's gone into these big pressure matches and come out with the results in the past uh, uh, some sometimes he's survived a little by the skin of his teeth it's been sort of 5-4s uh, and 3-4 kind of score lines but he has managed to get the results and he will be quietly confident i think the one thing that's improved massively over the tournament has been his defense uh, he's still a little bit weak in those 1v1 situations but i think his defensive positioning is very very good and he's he's still very instinctive once he gets into that box so like vi sharma is a very a guy who overthinks who likes to really uh, think about his shot almost is weighing up percentages and probabilities in his mind uh, afnan when he's on on song he's a more instinctive player he's just going to get that trick move get into the space take that shot uh, doesn't uh, put too much in into uh, the percentages and yeah. the probabilities and uh, that that has helped his game i think uh, we see over here we're going to see him use those uh, those long finish shots from messi oh. as well wins an early corner <laughs> and uh, yeah i think uh, playing that 4 2 3 1 formation he's going to be looking to stay defensively solid while also being able to uh, be effective on that counter attack yeah and you know at this point uh, when uh, vi sharma knows that he could have clearly done a lot of things better afnan understands uh, that it's a lot on the line because uh, you know initially when uh, we did see fc goa coming back after a long long break uh, we really thought they still have so many games they can easily catch up it's going to be as easy as that but uh, clearly not the case over there oh. and this could go oh. afnan what on earth was that a lot of the players really going for those chip shots received it perfectly fine and uh, ideally at this situation players go a lot for those uh, hard hitting shots but no just chipped it through and uh, really working fine and uh, akash ash well he is not gone against afnan 2.0 and finally understands why afnan has been one of the most improved players in the isl oh that was absolutely sickening for akash a beautiful chip into that far corner at some level i expected the moment he got in that position i was like you know what he's going to go for a chip and he did exactly that and uh, he gets that early goal the pressure squarely now on the jamshedpur fc shoulders they know that uh, nothing less than a win will do i mean a draw will still keep them sort of mathematically in the equation but really it's a win that uh, is uh, is the need of the hour for the khetpur fc and there we see akash working the shooting opportunity takes the shot and it is in it's one all a missed time finish you would have to say and a little smile from afnan acknowledging that that you know it wasn't the best finish in the world but still hey it's a goal hey, the, as long as it's a goal i mean uh, akash would take it right getting back into the fray right after and look at that shot look at that shot it was just bang on perfect and uh, yeah i mean at this point afnan would not really be pleased with uh, instantly 
uh, getting a counter goal uh, conceded for himself. But uh, it's so much more exciting than having no goals being scored, right? Jamshedpur FC 1, FC Goa 1. It's 22 minutes in and this is exactly what the fans wanted. Uh, someone to start scoring goals and looks like this is going to be a high goal scoring affair. But uh, from uh, where we are right now, Messi, well, uh, he's going to try and look for someone. But the ball has been stolen away by Akash and uh, Azim at this particular point, you know. It's getting so much more exciting, right? Uh, have, having a, a fact that, you know, the first game was really very empty, very shallow. The chances were just being created. But this is getting so much more exciting. Yeah, and there's a big chance over here. We can spot that ball in. I think decided to play that pass a little bit too late. And the chance sort of uh, was gone there. But again, with Messi, Akash is going to have to be wary of the fact that when he backs off from Messi in those wide areas, Afnan is going to go for those long-range meta finishes. And uh, let's see if uh, he can find it just a little under hit over there. And now, good counter-attacking opportunity for Akash and Jamshedpur FC. Can't quite uh, get that going, but finds a good little ball slid in behind Hakimi. The pace and the afterburners of Mbappe are on. Let's see if he can go with Khalid. This might be a good opportunity to shoot, you know, but decides not to take it. And, uh, well, I think it fizzles out a little bit. But in these 1v1 situations, I still feel Akash is the clear favourite when he gets in there. When he gets 1v1 against a defender, he backs himself to, to beat the man and get the shot away like we did see for his first goal. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, from around here, we've got to see if before the half-time, Azim, if we can uh, find a break, right? If we can find anything at all. But uh, now from uh, where we are headed to, Shamshedpur uh, FC clearly having their eyes that, uh, you know, they want to have one more for them. Trying to win the ball of Nan over there, not really succeeding with Hulit. He's looking for a good pass. Uh, he's been looking very sound. Akash Ash and uh, Afran kind of have that same style. But, uh, you know, Afran, uh, that, that is the po point where he uh, kind of a little bit falls off, uh, where Akash has got that upper edge, is the variety of shots, right? Akash Ash does not shy away from taking those finesse ones. But if steals like this have been done by Afnan, doesn't really matter. If you can make it count, a perfect lob ball. And that's a goal with Messi coming in. For the camera reels, for the highlights, I love seeing Afnan doing stops like this. We're all enjoying throughout. Yeah, and oh my goodness, that's an absolute shocker from the keeper. I think two shockers from both keepers, uh, Donnarumma for uh, for Afnan, uh, one uh, very easy shot fly in. And I think it's sort of a case of one each for both of them, two uh, goalkeeper howlers on, on either end, uh, two brain freezes for both the, both the keepers, you would have to say. And, uh, well, exactly what Afnan would have wanted and I'm, I'm sure Akash will be very, very disappointed with that because, I mean, usually you would not expect that shot to go in. But I think just the fact that it was sort of hit into the ground and the bounce uh, sort of uh, did a number on the keeper over there. But still, Akash, no time to think about this. He gets straight back on the attack. Just before this happened, he was actually trying to take the sting out of the game and he just gave the ball straight to Afnan. And that's the predatory instinct that Afnan has developed over this uh, this last year, ever since uh, 2022 has come around. He's been lethal. He's been a really, really clinical finisher. And uh, he's showing it again today. Oh, yeah. And this is exactly what we were talking about, right? Uh, him being so, um, uh, so uh, really good, I must say. Those are the words. Like, look at the class of those two goals, right? Uh, and it's so difficult to decide which one was the better one, the first or the second. Uh, we saw Akash really responding back quickly, but uh, you know the way things are going, Akash has to amp up his game because uh, at, at this particular moment they certainly cannot afford to lose this one, right? Uh, because uh, if FC Goa win this one out, they're guaranteed. They're guaranteed that one point, regardless of whatever the outcome of the game shall be. So uh, for Akash Ash, I mean the past uh, the uh, hatches have been buried. Doesn't matter if it was a six-one victory, but for now. FC Goa, they're absolutely stealing the show and uh, the star of it all is Afnan. Uh, he's waiting for his uh, opportunistic moments. He's letting Akash Ash uh, get really deep, get really ahead. And then he's making that really good defence. And then right after on the counter-attacks, he's finding so much room and space and uh, making sure that he capitalises on it. And Akash uh, being absolutely stupefied by the uh, sheer quality and class of Afnan. 
that is on display. But with the second half uh, uh, already commencing, uh, we've got to see if Jamshedpur FC can find their way back in. Yeah, and uh, well, looking to get forward quickly. I think a little bit of a missed input over there that uh, Akash will not be too pleased about. But gets in over there. Now with Messi. Oh dear, he's got that completely wrong. And you could see the chop back came, the finish was awaiting. And this is an excellent opportunity for a through ball. And he has played it a little under hit over there. Uh, but still, Ronaldo will get in behind. Now, surely will turn back and look for support. And he does, but does a dummy on uh, on Maldini over there. Excellent work. And now, Afnan could potentially have thought about a shot there. Decided not to. Uh, acres of space to pick uh, Pele out from. He's doing very well over here. Somehow bulldozing his way through. Almost given away by Akash in his own box. And uh, he breathes a sigh of relief. He's come away with it with no damage. And now, he can look forward. And he'll really be looking to try and at least equalize this game so that Jamshedpur FC has still have the opportunity to take all the three points that they need to stay in that top four battle. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, Jamshedpur FC, the pressure is definitely building up. And uh, at least by the 70th minute marker, Jamshedpur FC will need to find that equalizer at the very least. Uh, we're going to talk about the winner later on. But uh, before that, if Afnan manages to shoot one more in, I think uh, that could be lights out for them. So, they've got to be very careful, be very, very, and uh, FC Goa at the same time cannot uh, afford to give away the ball like this, especially at such critical positions. Uh, thankfully, it was not really uh, capitalized, but uh, the position uh, retained back in their favours. Uh, let's see if Afnan can uh, build one more out of this one with Mbappe. He's going to try and uh, make something happen. was looking for that left back, but uh, could not find uh, Cancelo there. Yeah, well, I think the ball was just deflected out for a throw. It looked for a moment that Afnan had just kicked it out himself. But uh, well, that wasn't the case. It was, of course, well defended by Akash. And Afnan now, I think he can afford to slow things down just a little bit. Just pass that ball around back and forth uh, a little bit if he wants to. Uh, sort of like what uh, Akash was trying to do once he got that equaliser. This is a good opportunity though. Great little scoop turn over there. And now with Mbappe. Let's see what he has uh, in his locker. Great little elastic over there. Getting away, drives that in towards Ronaldo. But, of course, too many bodies in the box. And Akash manages to get it clear. He does have the ball in behind if he spots it. But now it has been covered by Afnan very, very well. He spotted that immediately. And again, I think that is one of the merits. If there are any uh, amateur or aspiring players in there, that is one of the chief merits of manual switching. If you're still using auto switching, just turn that nonsense off, get into manual switching and play like the pros. Oh, yeah. I mean, that just gets you so much more control over the game. But uh, for what we have to offer right now, FC Goa, uh, they also know this is match. This matchup is so important and making sure he has himself hydrated with all that H2O. But uh, Kashash, uh, no time to lament over the losses right now. He needs to score one and he needs to do this quick. Uh, time has been running out. Time is of the absolute essence, and uh, haven't really seen uh, so much out of him. That uh, you know, that attacking flair, that monstrosity from Akashash has been clearly been missing over the past couple of days, and uh, I think it has got a lot to do with uh, the pressure that these players are taking over their head. Right? It's the experience that uh, matters towards the early end, uh, towards the end, and uh, yeah, being relatively new players to such uh, studio events, haven't really dealt with so much pressure, uh, have to deal with the brunt of it. But let's see if Jamshedpur FC can uh, manage to at least score a draw out of this one, maybe push it to the co-op game, and. Uh, could have been a good pass, but Ruben Diaz receiving it, and now it's FC Kovas ball, uh, and they've got a good chance to score. Uh, it's quite an interesting substitution that Akash has made over there. He's taken off Hakimi and brought on Rafael Varan at right back. So that's quite strange because I'm not quite sure Rafael Varan, of course, excellent to have at centre back, but I'm not sure why you would want him at right back. Maybe he plans later on to uh, go to a three at the back and maybe go for an ultra attacking 3 4 3 formation. Uh, because he has to, he has to find something, he has to do something different. Now, getting that ball to Cancelo, will he go for a cross over here? Doesn't have options around him, I think a cross would be a good idea. He does find De Bruyne and now, with Hullet, had the opportunity to find Ronaldo there, decide not to take it. Now with De Bruyne, cuts in, surely has to shoot. 
but blocked off still the opportunity for Akash will he take that shot he cuts in with the map a great shooting opportunity and in to the top corner Akash is still alive and kicking here oh yes just when he needed the most he finally scores and finally finally Akash Ash can breathe a little bit sigh of relief and now all he's going to do is make sure that he does not concede any and uh, all those uh, changes in his uh, formations over there finally working things out having those extra men up and he has to go all in and uh, at this point Azim now you've got to say it uh, uh, are they looking for a draw are they going to you know place all their chips on the next match up or uh, you know, both these players, are they going to be looking for that uh, winner goal? Because uh, going ultra-attacking uh, opens you a lot towards those counter-attacks coming in your way. So, what do you think should be the right uh, way of approach? Well, I think both players, after all the efforts they've put in, will, I am sure at this point, have first of all, have their hearts pumping. And secondly, they'll be a bit afraid of losing this game. I mean, all that hard work and suddenly you lose it and suddenly you only have one point available to you. So... Uh, I mean, Afnan, of course, he has the luxury of uh, those few games in hand and can potentially say, you know what, let me try to win it uh, right now. But I think Akash would be playing it very, very safe at this moment. Uh, he knows that uh, it's it's so high stakes at this point that you can't really risk uh, trying to leave your uh, defense exposed. It's a it's a really difficult call to make. Do you stick? Do you twist? It's it's so it's so difficult, but. Will Afnan make the decision for him? If he can just suddenly grab a goal over here and he's worked a good position now with Vinicius. We remember Vinicius got into a very good position for Afnan a few games ago. But that three-star weak foot is what let him down. And he vowed that day, since that day he told us in, in his interview that he's never putting Vinicius on the left <laughs> flank again. We do see Vinicius on the right, justifiably so. But now Akash coming forward, a big opportunity. Oh. But his own player took the ball off him. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. And now Afnan has the last attack to himself. And uh, he goes for a long ball in. I do not know if that's the best of the ideas because Maldini makes sure that he receives it. And uh, he's got to make the play happen really quick and fast because uh, if he misses this one out, then uh, the match is pretty much over with that outside. And there you can see the final <laughs> whistle blowing. And Azeem, it is of course going to be the final game. That uh, turns out to be a decider between uh, these two teams over here. And uh, clearly, clearly has been uh, really end-to-end -end for uh, yeah, what it is. And uh, we've got to see. We've got to see if uh, things really uh, work out for uh, either of these teams in the final game. Yeah, and of course, I do think uh, we, for, we, for viewers who are just joining in, the scoreline that you just saw for the first yeah. game was incorrect. It actually ended up nil nil. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sure we can have that corrected. But uh, I did uh, speculate that the next game might be two all. Uh, again, that is not a win for Arvind Mas. It's actually a nil nil draw. So uh, it's going to be very very interesting to see how this pans out going into game three with both games drawn. And uh, now it's. Uh, Everything on the line, all three results are possible. Yeah, I, I think it's, um, you know, like we said, uh, right? A, a clarification there. The first game was completely goalless. I'm sure that's being fixed right now. And uh, it all comes down to FC Goa's uh, court, right? Uh, where uh, they've been the better teams in terms of co-op. But uh, lately, lately, a lot of teams have uh, dealt with the way they play, right? Uh, it has uh, usually always been about uh, V Sharma being the one uh, creating creating all the spaces and uh, the openings and getting the right passes and Afnan, uh, the clinical player, uh, to score the goal. But uh, this particular game had been uh, pretty interesting uh, earlier round in the first half for both these players, you know, they're having no stones in turn and towards the end, it got much more spicier with Akash scoring their final uh, 80th minute goal and uh, then we really thought for a moment that maybe we could also uh, see a winner and look at this goal. It, as if it felt like the goalkeeper was like, keep the ball away from me. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost like his social distancing from the ball over there. But uh, he did manage to get the goal in the 80th minute. Reworked this really, really well. Got the shooting opportunity and bang into the top corner. And you could see, pumped up about that. He knew a big, big moment. And of course, the top four dream is still alive. I think both very, very closely contested games. I don't think you could uh, pick any major pointers out of uh, either either uh, game. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely on a knife edge over here. Uh, let's see now who shows the bravery to go for that win in game three. 
Oh, it's so difficult to say at this point, right? Especially with what is on the line, you know, their qualification, their uh, you know, chance to stay in the ISL, and you know, all these players. It's going to be so daunting for them, you know, if they know that uh, no matter how many games they win, they're not going to qualify. They're going to have to spend the rest of their days inside the hotel room, just a- aching to go back to their homes, and uh, that's not going to happen, right? Uh, uh, you come out, uh, you do not have that motivation anymore. And uh, you know that that's not the way uh, players would want it. But as the story suggests, only the top four are going to be heading off to the playoffs. But uh, for what we have uh, right now for you guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, well a few more clarifications. And uh, yeah, the thing it was still nil nil, and uh, the production uh, will of course uh, correct that one out. But uh, regardless, regardless, uh, I mean in terms of the outcomes. Um, the goals uh, do speak uh, that uh, it's the co-op game that uh, turns out to be the decider between uh, these two clubs. Yeah, and that has been the case for the last uh, four or five games that we've been watching in the EISL. I think almost every game has come down uh, in recent times to the co-op, and that's generally what happens in the late game, in the end game, so so called for the tournament. You could say that's when it gets so nervy, so intense. Nobody wants to lose that game. Uh, in the first uh, one or two matchups, and they're like, you know what? I'd rather not lose and take our chances and still be in with that chance for three points in game three. And uh, that's what we're seeing over here. The stakes are so 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 high. It's not just the playoff place at stake. Also, the top four guarantees you yeah. prize money, which is of course a, a big motivating factor for a lot of these players. So yeah, it's going to be a stellar game three, and uh, can't wait for it to kick off. Yeah, but you know, before we head off into game number three, for all the viewers that are watching the stream right now, uh, we have a chance, and you have a chance to get yourself uh, this V Flex robot worth nineteen point nine nine dollars for absolutely free. All you've got to do is sign up at www.eravirtua.io/slash. ISL and choose your favorite uh, team jersey, your colors, uh, whatever you want to get it. Uh, have it personalized to your own needs. And uh, yeah, uh, as we said, you know we're all voting the hype train. I have voted. Azim has also lately voted. Right now, you might as well uh, also jump in. But uh, now it's uh, business, right? It's uh, talking time where we got to see or find out. Who who uh, managed to hold themselves off? Now uh, let's talk about what's on the line, right? FC Goa. If they still manage to win this one, I think uh, all the cushion that they had uh, is completely gone, right? They're going to be sitting on a wooden seat where uh, their backs are going to hurt them a lot uh, from that luxurious uh, cushioned uh, sofa that they had. Yeah. Uh, but for Jamshedpur FC, it's their journey. It's uh, those four months that they've spent. Everything is on the line. So uh, clearly, Jamshedpur FC a really important game for them, and a draw is not something that either of the teams could have themselves contained with. Yeah, I think a draw would still work just about okay for FC Goa, but that sort of keeps them level with Bengaluru FC, uh, who have nicely got themselves in recent times into a very very good position at the edge of that uh, top four battle. They're sitting nice and comfortable in fifth place with the uh, game in hand. Over Northeast United FC, so they're going to be watching this game with a lot of interest to see uh, what happens here. I think for them, the best outcome would probably be a draw between these two teams, and it may well end up uh, being just that. As we kick off again, two of the uh, best uh, co-op units uh, within the EISL going up against each other. Uh, we've seen these guys uh, put together some really, really good moves. Very, very calm and solid on defense, particularly FC Goa, the way they've defended. They seem to just come and defend in in waves and really, really work well together. And uh, we've seen uh, them well growing in confidence over the course of the tournament with their co-op. It is, of course, the reason why they are still in that uh, top four battle. It's the the clutch performances in the co-op. And now, big opportunity finding Kante, and now in the box with Ronaldo. But again, the finish not quite there. But a big early chance for FC Goa and early warning signs for Jamshedpur FC. As uh, they'll be hoping to now strike back and uh, get their own shots on goal. Yeah, and I think uh, more than that, uh, th- these are vital signs, right? Where uh, FC Goa look really sound, but uh, now Jamshedpur FC they've got a channel in every power that they have, uh, all the focus and attention. And I think uh, in this particular match of the first uh, goal, whoever scores uh, gets a huge, huge boost, right? Uh, hasn't really 
they, this for two teams this time it hasn't been a high goal scoring affair uh, has been relatively very low and has been more about creating the chances not a lot of chances being converted into goals and uh, jamshedpur fc were trying to do the same and uh, were trying to hit from the right wings but fc goa reading uh, their uh, plans from miles afar made sure that they retain uh, the possession back in uh, into their courts and now they're going to be trying to build up an attack so early on we just saw fc goa with that one promising chance but uh, that pretty, pretty much uh, sums up what's happened in yeah and uh, you can see jamshedpur fc very aggressive with their press they're not allowing fc goa any passing in midfield and fc goa sensibly are keeping that ball and waiting for the opportunity they may need to uh, make a few long balls a few long passes which is not really their game so i think this is a concerted strategy by jamshedpur fc of just you know suffocating them in midfield and forcing them to 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 do things out of their comfort zone and uh, for the moment they're able to to do that they've managed to just uh, snip that ball off them in midfield and uh, get their own attack going and uh, for fc goa they might need to rely on the counter attack uh, to get their attacking uh, chances oh yeah they certainly have to you know and the, the counter attack is something where they have been really good but more uh, more importantly than that as i think i feel those two passes that uh, b sharma really makes uh, the way ahead for afnan that's where they really etch it out against their opponents in the co-op uh, but uh, for jamshedpur fc this could have been a promising chance but fc goa read that well perfectly and now they're on a counter attack of their own changing the course of the play uh, trying to uh, get it back to the centers and uh, de bruyne are passing it on to wirtz uh, non to nazario with uh, kante he's making sure that they've got enough bodies on the uh, upside but no look at this this could be a very huge break this could be absolutely devastating ronaldo pushing in through those right wings passes on back to its messi and uh, messi you want him to be at that uh, position where he goes for that chalk back finish shot but now not the case and jamshedpur fc they have to be really patient with the build up oh. but uh, trying uh, to go a little ambitious over there and uh, the attack of yeah got the time finish all wrong over there but i do feel i think for for vanchaj he'll be happy uh, having afnan in this current form in a co-op game because typically it has been him who's the playmaker putting afnan in and afnan we've seen he's playing on instinct getting those finishes in and that's really the struggle that uh, v sharma had over there and uh, not quite sure who the red controller is i get the feeling it might be v sharma because a couple of those uh, finish chances have come to him and he's not been able to get the shot away so it might be worth uh, again reverting back to that thing of uh, vishama being the provider and afnan getting in those situations where he can beat his man or just instinctively take that shot because uh, it'll be playing to both the player's strengths at uh, this moment in time oh yeah i mean at, at this particular point uh, no not much of a difference coming out from both these teams they're going end to end and uh, you know these uh, steals uh, from jamshedpur fc might help the cause got a found uh, Oh, Mbappe there, but uh, no. And uh, FC Goa by the skin of their teeth, making sure that uh, they receive the ball really well. Now on the counter attacks, uh, we haven't seen a lot of FC Goa attacks lately. It has been a little bit of a Jamshedpur FC uh, going on for uh, some time, but now with Hakimi passing it on to his De Bruyne, and now towards Ronaldo. Let's see if they can do anything, and nada. yeah not quite happening over there uh, i again like i think from from what i can tell the red cursor is uh, vanchaj and he's getting a bit nervous in those uh, in those 1v1 situations in the box just uh, easily giving it away so i do think that role reversal needs to happen at some point and uh, good cover back on defense over there now winning that ball back giving jamshedpur fc a taste of their own medicine jamshedpur have been pressing them very very high uh not allowing them uh, space in the midfield this time coming forward with kantif slides that ball in and there you can see the instinctive work and this time getting closer to goal forcing the keeper to work but uh, much better from fc go over there you know i would have loved to see some chip shots coming in over there but uh, i think one last final attack uh, remaining oh. oh this could be such a bad uh, giveaway but thankfully thankfully just uh, saved and uh, you know uh, jamshedpur fc they've got to make this uh, count they've got to make this uh, uh, matter the last attack with mbappe on that left wing he's got to try and enter inside the box does not find the way in and uh, went directly for the shot with ronaldo nazario does not really matter 
as uh, the first half has come to a close, but nothing really separating uh, these players over here, Razim. When are we going to see someone break? It's it's just not a mental uh, game anymore. It's about uh, resilience. You know, the player's not really gassed out. But uh, still, the mind games, it all comes down to who makes that uh, first uh, big mistake. And uh, we've got to see if uh, someone can capitalize on that or not. Yeah, it's going to be come down to mistakes. And I think it's going to come down to being instinctive in the box, particularly for FC Goa. I don't think that's really a problem for Jamshedpur FC. They've not been able to create that much. Most of their opportunities have come when FC Goa have just given that ball away to them cheaply. So... Still think both teams are slightly playing within themselves. They're still being a little reserved because, again, you don't want to lose the game and such a vital game uh, in the in the first half itself. So I do get the feeling because a draw is not particularly great, uh, especially for Jamshedpur FC, that if uh, any of the teams is to wake up and really start going for the kill in the second half, I think we'll see Jamshedpur FC being that team at around the 60-70 minute mark if it's still in them by that time. Ooh. And. Uh... You know, at this point, oh, <laughs> uh, heading off uh, the second half, like you said, you know, it hasn't really been a huge goal scoring affair, but uh, FC Goa are still one of the stronger teams in the co op matches uh, that we've seen so far. They have to live up to the title that they hold. An important game for both these teams, Jamshedpur FC, the survival clearly on the line, and uh, FC Goa, you know, those little giveaways uh, might hurt them. Uh, if uh, they can see the goal. But for now, with uh, Marquinhos, uh, they're going to be starting to try and uh, build things up, passing it on towards Kante, towards Gullet. And uh, Messi looks for uh, Ronaldo Nazario on the right wings. But Cancelo reading the ball from Miles Jaffa. And has, has been the same tell-to-tell -tell story over here. Forces yeah. me to think. When are we going to see that break? My eyes are yearning for a goal. And for all the viewers out there, I think uh, we're on the same page over here. But now, Kante, let's see, on the counter-attack. Azim, give me, a, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Uh, <laughs> give me a number. When are we seeing someone breaking the deadlock? Uh, well, I think it could be in uh, minute 60 right here. FC Goa are looking pretty good. <laughs> Turning away from nobody in particular. Kevin De Bruyne with the shot. And there, finally... Some goal mouth action for us. And uh, of course, while we were busy speculating about when we're going to see the goal, I was actually looking at the, the remaining fixture list for both these teams. And it's uh, not going to be a particularly easy ride because uh, Jamshedpur FC, of course, their two remaining matches are up against Kerala Blasters FC and Mumbai City FC. So it's not going to be an easy ride. Oh, and it's a huge stroke of fortune for FC Goa. As the finesse shot somehow managed to get deflected perfectly into the path of Eusebio and the simplest of finishes and a huge, huge slice of luck, but they will take that every day of the week. Oh yeah, I mean at this point, yes, with open arms and I think your, your fortune telling skills are right on point, Azim. I think uh, you've got another career to of course consider along with extra money coming in for you. But yeah, I think for FC Goa, so much... Uh, needed goal we can say at this point such a huge sigh of relief but this is again has been one of those tendencies where you score a goal you feel that yeah i think you're having a good run and suddenly suddenly you concede one so i think the objective yeah. right now for fc go at this particular point will come down to the fact that uh, they need to score one more and not the cleanest of the goals but like you said they're gonna take it with open arms <laughs> And Afnan very, uh, you can see, very adamantly making a point over there to Vanchaj saying that, okay, this is what we're going to do. And it's it's uh, refreshing to see him now almost sort of being the the leader of the team, making those big calls. And uh, what a transformation it's been from one match against Jamshedpur FC to the other. Uh, we've seen this boy completely grow full circle. And, uh, well, it is uh, now Jamshedpur FC who have no choice. They have to come out and party. They have to come out and attack. And let's see what they can do. I do believe that they have been playing very reserved in this co-op game. They've not really been been uh, showing us their entire arsenal. And there we see the tricks and the flicks are out with Ronaldo. But Angolo Kante there. And the counter-attack was on if he had searched for that long ball. Playing a slightly dangerous game by playing it to the keeper. And oh my goodness, if that had been cut out by the striker, that could have been disastrous. Oh, and you know, at this point, at this point... 
Jamshedpur FC. They've got to put their bodies, anything that they have, they need to somehow at least score an equaliser. And then we can talk about the winner because uh, now at this particular moment, a draw is what uh, is something that is not going to save them, right? It's those two goals that they need to do and they need to get it in quick succession. We've already hit that 70th minute marker. I think uh, they should go all in at this point, right? Get your players up and uh, try and score one in and uh, then, you know, think about getting one more. Conceding a goal does not matter either way because you're going oh. home after that. But really wanted to go in with the header, but Hakimi did not allow him that. Now really susceptible to a counter-attack. Again, another beautiful long ball being played, but Kafu seeing him after a long, long time making his comeback and uh, yeah, that's uh, just about it. And uh, Azim, uh, I think the stars for Jamshedpur FC just are not aligned today. Yeah, I mean, unfortunate for them, great turn away there from uh, Mbappe to get away from his man and this could be lights out if they play this right. Looking for the cutback now with oh, Eusebio into that top corner. That is magnificently done and I do believe the blue cursor is Afnan. I could be wrong but I think the confidence with which that was fired in, uh, I think uh, it could only have been uh, one player again. I could be wrong. Apologies to Vishakma if that was you but have a look at that. Oh. Worked it beautifully on that counter and uh, another contender for that Terra Virtua super moment of the match. I, I think that is it, right? That is exactly what seals this game off and Jamshedpur FC with heavy hearts, they've got to play the next 10 minutes, right? I don't, th I don't see them uh, coming back into this game, even in the world of FIFA, with how closely this match has been contested, and uh, that is uh, clearly, clearly lights out. Uh, good night, not just from uh, this matchup, but from the EISL for Jamshedpur FC. But yeah, again, they're going to be taking in a lot of experience with them. And FC Goa just be approving why they're the better co-op unit, finding those uh, chances, uh, finding through everything and uh, the brothers believing in each other and finally succeeding as uh, the final seven minutes remain as Jamshedpur FC have no choice but to go all out. Let's see if they can find any consolation goals. Yeah, and again, I was just having a look at the schedule and yes, if Jamshedpur FC do not get the win here, Mathematically, they are pretty much out because FC Goa and Northeast United FC uh, still have to play each other. So that means uh, out of those two teams, at least one team uh, will get at least one point, and that is what the one point that will uh, condemn Jamshedpur FC to fifth place or below. And uh, they've had a good run. I think you had to say they've had their moments, but just in a couple of those big crucial games. Things didn't go their way and uh, even the first goal that they conceded in the co-op game. Yeah. Huge slice of fortune over there. But again, the benefits of taking those shots, you never know what could happen. That deflection could fall your way. It's all possible. Now Messi stands at up back post, Ronaldo with the head and Spandasar pulling out an incredible stop there. And yeah, as uh, we are now into extra time uh, or stoppage time rather, I think that's uh, pretty much game over. For Jamshedpur FC in this yeah. game, FC Goa will be getting the three points and Jamshedpur FC sadly will now be battling it out for the title of uh, the best of the rest and who will be joining them? Could be Bengaluru FC, could be uh, Northeast United FC, could be FC Goa themselves uh, who are battling it out for that fifth spot. Yeah, I think at a certain point I really felt Jamshedpur FC gave that up and finally get to see that shock back to Ness. But yeah, that pretty much sums this game up and... Uh, all right, it's not the barber's nerve for uh, V Sharma as he's managed to you know, still still get lucky and uh, edge it out with those uh, three points, right? And at the, this was such an intense game for FC Goa and Afnan, uh, I think this lad is all pumped up. Finally, finally gets his uh, sweet revenge tonight and uh, really held uh, Akash Ash till the very end. But it was again uh, one of those games which did end with a draw. Still better than a 6-1, right? Yeah, they're better than a 6-1 for sure. But listen, at the end of the day, in both uh, in both circumstances, the result was the same. FC Goa picking up those three points. And it took a while for this game to get going. But suddenly, uh, we saw Kevin De Bruyne doing all these pirouettes in the box. And uh, then, of course, uh, we saw that... Uh, Kind deflection for FC Goa, falling straight to the feet of uh, Eusebio in the box. We see over here the uh, meta finesse shot uh, cued, I think, from uh, 
from Pele was it going for the left foot and then it was actually Marquinhos's uh, interception which just fell kindly it's the, one of the best assists of the season and there you can see Afnan getting pumped up <laughs> and uh, then of course at uh, 2-0 it was it was always going to be game over yeah and somewhere down the line you know uh, i'm kind of a little sad because we are approaching those days when uh, we've got to say goodbye to a few of those teams and uh, today is of course one of those days right uh, they still have a few more games to play they still have uh, you know um, uh, those uh, matches where they can uh, you know come out and play with their hearts out and that is something that you know arvind also clearly said right Uh, but uh, we know it was all of a sad he knows that the pressure was still on and uh, by yeah. by all means they meant that this game meant a lot to them because uh, had they won that uh, they that could have still had them in contention at the very least if not at the best of the chances but finally let's have yeah. a look at the scorecard as it all came down to the co-op game where fc goa managed to win it 2-0 and there you can see a very cagey affair of nan and akash ash uh, a 2-2 score line and then it was that uh, Visharma Afnan magic working in that second half and uh, as a result of which FC Goa standing true to their traits to their abilities a better co-op team uh, for the evening yeah. and have managed to secure those important three points but Razim who is the hero of the match going to be well i think it's probably going to be afnan uh, there he goes scoring three goals i think two uh, goals in uh, his individual game and one co-op goal as well so very richly deserved the hero of the match for him he was the guy who of course uh, kept uh, fc goa in it and uh, of course then got the goals when it mattered in the co-op uh, and of course i think very poetic from the guy who was hammered 6-1 in his uh, first game against uh, jamshedpur fc now comes back to uh, win again and uh, get that individual oh. hero of the match title and what about that for a chip even akash was really flabbergasted just surprised taken aback ki bhai ye kya kar diya and when you were thinking that that is where it all ended look at the quality of this one those really long reads on afnan is what really sets him out and uh, clearly shows about how he has transcended uh, into the uh, EISL every day improving with uh, the confidence just beaming out of uh, his body right and uh, th- that is exactly what uh, FC FC Goa needs uh, at this point right uh, both the players in really good condition but now ladies and gentlemen it's time for the terra virtue super moment of the match up and we're going to see which was that one particular goal and yes the final goal the final goal that uh, uh was like the final uh, nail in the coffin uh for uh, jamshedpur fc by the players of fc goa which decided their fate and uh, that's just going to be out here right now yes of course unfortunately jamshedpur fc have uh, been buried by fc goa and akash has been turned to ash shall, shall we say by the the finishing prowess that afnan has been showing today but uh, a great run for jamshedpur fc they still of course in contention to uh, finish 5th uh, in the eisl which of course uh, is no small uh, achievement to yeah. be one of the just narrowly missing out on those playoff spots but yeah let's have a look at the leaderboard now and uh, we can see the impact fc goa go uh, nicely up the table now sitting in 5th place level it was a very crucial win for them because it takes them above bengaluru fc and now both fc goa and bengaluru fc will be sizing up northeast united fc fc goa are going to be playing northeast united fc uh, in the next couple of days and that's going to be yet another sort of firecracker eliminator kind of match and uh, we do have now afnan uh, waiting to have a chat with us let's uh, head straight over and afnan congrats hero of the match and uh, I just want to say what a great transformation it's been from the first time you played Jamshedpur FC first LAN event first day got hammered 6-1 and then you come back to be hero of the match in the return fixture how are you feeling Yeah I mean I still remember that that game against Akash Ash and uh, yeah I mean I'm very I feel like I feel like I've come a long way and you know Vansh has also helped me a lot in this so like the major credit of this goes to him only like he has helped me a lot so like i'm really happy and like after winning today's game like uh, it was a must win for us actually if, because yeah. if we have lost yeah. today or even got a draw we would have been a very ba- in a very bad situation but you know we got a win in the end, in the end again in the co-op game so like la me and vanj both are very happy 
But you know, uh, now this question goes out, right? Uh, you've been at your best. I think you're at the pinnacle of your performance. But uh, from Vonchez's uh, side, we're seeing those uh, flurry of draws coming out. Uh, again, it goes down. Is it the haircut? Uh, is he not feeling uh, himself? No, I uh, like. I don't think it's the haircut. But you know, ev- everyone goes through s- uh, some rough times. You know, it's just his bad phase right now. Like in the starting, like I wasn't even getting a win. Like I was losing all my games, and at least he's getting a draw for the team. So like he's going through a rough time. But you know, we all know what he's capable of, and you know, he's gonna come back very strong. Trust me. Yeah, and I mean we got we've got a great battle for fourth place going on. You, uh, Bengaluru FC, Northeast United FC. You guys will be playing Northeast United FC in your upcoming matches as well. So we're really looking forward to that. So looking forward to more exciting matches and all the best. Thank you, guys. Likewise. So. All right. So I mean, uh, this sort of a brotherhood between you know every single player that has uh, developed uh, with their yeah. teammates, right? Uh, you know, at a certain point, thankfully, thankfully we just had them for uh, like four months over here. Otherwise, the fifth or sixth time t- we're talking about marriages happening. But uh, <laughs> either ways, either ways, uh, now it's uh, the uh, time uh, where you know we know we love to give away a lot of things. But for you guys, everyone. Be a winner, right? You could get a, uh, you could get your hands on the V Flex uh, robot, and it's the exclusive dancing robot of exclusive property of the Terra Virtual. All you've got to do is sign up. It's worth nineteen point nine nine dollars, but if you do that, it's absolutely for free. Head over to www.terravirtual.io/isl. But uh, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, FC Goa still in the run. Uh, for that top four, they've got those competitors out there: Bengaluru FC, Northeast United FC. Everyone eyeing for that coveted fourth spot as uh, the battle has become more exciting than ever. But that being said, gentlemen, uh, we are finally done with the matches for an evening. Before we head out, a huge shout out to our sponsors, as the EISL is powered by Coca-Cola. Our associate sponsors, Hero Esports Partners, Northwind Gaming, our platform partners. PlayStation and our digital collectibles partner Stella Virtua for making this event happen. And uh, you know this is happening quite often, right? Uh, yeah. Usually we say our goodbyes. We like we'll see you next week. But uh, today Azim and I we're gonna be taking a leave, and we're gonna meet you tomorrow because we have three action-packed matches uh, for you guys. So enjoy your Sunday, enjoy the match days, and uh, see you tomorrow.